Oh dear, these things are horrible. So, this is the one we want. Oh dear, it's loading. Go there, Ashley. You'd think that they wouldn't really... That they... That to the... What are they? Rachni, I think? I do read the names occasionally. Just I don't remember them. That they just go, Oh, there's a, there's a thing! Oh dear, it's gone black again. <laughs> oh dear. That is one of the scariest things I can see. And it looks like there's a person there. I think that may have just been the door. At least I hope. Yaroslav Tartakovsky. Are you here to secure the situation? Are you alright? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Okay, immediate problem. Goal of reason why I'm here. What did you do? I don't understand anything yet. What were you doing here? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship. Thousands oh, of years Oh, brilliant. Lived. This was Ragnar ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. But the... We'll go with that, but the Ragnar are extinct. Ragnar? The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. That is so. Billions of lives lost in that war, on both oh, sides. I should have gone with Major Benezzi then. It, they hatched it? They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnai, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnai, it is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> what about... Yeah, what about a male? You'd need... Yeah, that's how reproduction works. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. But the rac... the rac aren't obedient. Separating them from their mother didn't Indeed. work. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. We're running out of time. This is fascinating, but we don't have I'm time. I'm glad I stopped the conversation. <laughs> These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. Neutron? What, what's a neutron purge? I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Uh, what? I mean, what's the difference between, between that and just nuking the base? Wait, that, that is pretty much just nuking the base really, isn't it? Neutron radiation. Give us a minute. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Ooh, codex. Right, so this is going to be a primary codex. Though now extinct, the Rachni once threatened every species in Citadel space. Over 2,000 years ago, explorers foolishly opened a mass relay to a previously unknown system and encountered something never seen before or since, a species of spacefaring insects guided by a hive mind intelligence. Unfortunately, the Rachni were not peaceful and the galaxy was plunged into a series of conflicts known as the Rachni Wars. 
Attempts to negotiate were futile, as it was impossible to make contact with the hive queens that guided the race from beneath the surface of their toxic home world. The emergence of the Krogan ended the Rachni Wars. Bred to survive the harshest environments, the Krogan were able to strike at the queens in their lairs and reclaim conquered council worlds. But when Krogan fleets pressed them back to their home world, the Rachni refused to surrender, and the Krogan eradicated them from the galaxy. Right. I think they're back. I'm not sure if they're different. Hmm. Okay, there's an orange thing. There's so much still. Where's Where's Benezia? Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Investigate. Ooh, can I ask these? Right, Metro Benezia. Is there an Asari here? There is an Asari I cannot identify standing next to you. How you tolerate literal-minded VIs is beyond me. There are no others visible to my remaining internal sensors. All right, the neutron purge. I need information on the neutron Ooh. purge. The neutron purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. Resolve sounds pretty final. What exactly does this thing do? The purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. Indeed. It's always a good idea to RTFM, Doctor. <laughs> to what? Uh, We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. What does the journal say? Right. Oh, oh, on the purge. You need a key card. Only administrators have one, so you need to go and find someone. In the rift station. And we need to find an administrator. Can we talk to Tsavsky? Whatever his name was. I am feeling not so well. How do I trigger the purge? How do we set off the purge? Armin controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruct. Okay. Hello, Rachni. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Right, um, I'm slightly dead. Um, at least I don't need to first aid. Purge coats. Right. So we can just do that, can we? That's the wrong one. We've got to do this, haven't we? I like it, but there we go. Online, how can I help you? Initiate the purge. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. I have the code. Code input: eight seven five zero two zero zero seven nine. Code Omega. Local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Of course. Oh my goodness! Does, is that going to hit us? I'm, I'm guessing that's what's going to happen. I'm guessing actually the goal is not to fight these things, but just to run through. 
We'll find out and hope the game has saved it in a very sensible place. Right, first aid. Let's try the running option. The running option is a dumb one. This is stupid, why am I doing this? I think running was the right option there. I think. Oh dear, what's happened? And the game has crashed. Thunderbar.